If it were necessary either to do wrong or to suffer it, I should choose to suffer rather than do it. For philosophy, Socrates, if pursued in moderation and at the proper age, is an elegant accomplishment, but too much philosophy is the ruin of human life. I would rather, that the whole world should be at odds with me, and oppose me, rather than that I myself should be at odds with myself, and contradict myself. So I spoke the truth when I said that neither I nor you nor any other man would rather do injustice than suffer it, for it is worse. Will not the good man, who says whatever he says with a view to the best, speak with a reference to some standard and not at random, just as all other artists, whether the painter, the builder, the shipwright, or any other look all of them to their own work, and do not select and apply at random what they apply, but strive to give a definite form to it. He who desires to be happy must pursue and practice temperance and run away from intemperance as fast as his legs will carry him. If you want to silence me, silence philosophy, who is my love. No man who is not an utter fool and coward is afraid of death itself, but he is afraid of doing wrong. For to go to the world below having one's soul full of injustice is the last and worst of all evils. So when the orator is more convincing than the doctor, what happens is that an ignorant person is more convincing than the expert before an equally ignorant audience. I am one of those who are very willing to be refuted if I say anything which is not true, and very willing to refute anyone else who says what is not true, and quite as ready to be refuted as to refute, for I hold that this is the greater gain of the two, just as the gain is greater of being cured of a very great evil than of curing another. Where there is great power to do wrong, to live and to die justly is a hard thing. That the makers of laws are the majority who are weak, and they make laws and distribute praises and censures with a view to themselves and to their own interests. The very bad men come from the class of those who have power. You will never come to any harm in the practice of virtue, if you are a really good and true man. A rhetorician is capable of speaking effectively against all comers, whatever the issue, and can consequently be more persuasive in front of crowds about anything he likes. For knowing their own inferiority, I suspect that they are too glad of equality. So where power is in the hands of a savage and uneducated tyrant, anyone who is greatly his superior will doubtless be an object of fear to the ruler, and never able to be on terms of genuine friendship with him.